Welcome back. Brian Keeler here. I'm doing this uh, uh, plein air painting along the Susquehanna River. Uh, and uh, this is the end of my first session here. Uh, it's uh, in here this solstice, a couple days shy of the solstice. And I'm doing this uh, uh, impression of the, uh, the river and the, the sunset here. I'm on um, Question Mark Island. It's an island uh, just uh, upstream from uh, Wailusing, Pennsylvania. And um, what I endeavor to do in these uh, plein air paintings, these out of door uh, paintings, is to uh, get an impression, a, a, a make a statement, or, and record uh, um, a, uh, a suggestion of, of what I'm seeing here. And then when I go back to the studio, I'll uh, um, embellish it and, uh, and try to uh, accentuate what I've captured here on these uh, open air sessions. It's a beautiful evening along the river, as you can see, wonderful sky. Uh, you can probably hear the, uh, the killdeers, wonderful killdeers there. Red-winged blackbirds and uh, various other river ambiance here. It's a, it's a wonderful setting. So uh, this painting is a, a 10 by uh, 30, I believe, or maybe 10 by 26 uh, oil on, on linen, and I've uh, come out here on my uh, kayak, as you can uh, see here, paddled out here tonight, and, uh, and then I'll paddle back and, uh, and take the painting uh, safely back, hope hopefully. <laughs> so thanks so much for your attention. Welcome back to my studio. When you saw me earlier, I was along the uh, Susquehanna River uh, painting this uh, little painting. It's a uh, 10 by 26 uh, oil on linen. And um, I'm gonna turn the music down here a little bit. Maybe step back a little bit so you can see the whole painting. Um, but uh, the important decisions were all, all made uh, when I was uh, right there on location. Uh, in the first uh, first few minutes, and one of the first decisions is this uh, eye level, which is, goes right across here. I was sitting on the uh, stones here, this rocky shore, and uh, that's one of the first decisions us artists have to make is uh, finding the uh, eye level. But the more creative part is uh, where we place the uh, eye level on the canvas. So uh, lately, well, I switch it around lots, but uh, one of my main things is. Uh, trying to avoid putting anything smack dab in the center because the whole aesthetic here is to create a variety, interest, uh, and uh, uh, nice intervals is the key word. And so the, the main interval between the, the sky is about three quarters and the, the lower part of the uh, earth and the river and the island are some of the uh, parts of uh, compositional decisions of distribution of shapes. Uh, just before the video started, uh, I was uh, I just added this uh, kayaker in, so it's sort of a uh, self-portrait in a in a sense, uh, and uh, just adding some of the uh, the glint. I'm going to do a little work here, and uh, just a little bit of reflection here. The uh, uh, the water being hit by the paddler, the the kayaker's paddle. And uh, if you'd come over to uh, back up a little bit, uh, one of the other things that I was doing was this distant mountain 
if you come down to my palette here, I'm mixing up this uh, tone here that's, uh, I'm trying to make the uh, mountain um, a little bit uh, warmer and a little bit uh, lighter. So I'm adding some, uh, I put uh, white and yellow ochre and just a tad of black in there to uh, mitigate it. And let's go up here to the, uh, the mountain and uh, this might, I can think it's gonna be a little bit too light, but no, that's just about right. So what I'm endeavoring to do here is to get the effects of the uh, sunlight on this cool mountain and just uh, kind of dabbling it on here to show the direction of the light and the, um, the temperature. So I'm, I'm doing a couple of things. I'm warming it, I'm lighting in it, and I'm also sort of uh, uh, suggesting the, uh, the trees here. And I'm gonna use my finger here to uh, soften it, just to blend it over there. I'm gonna use the same color um, right up here to uh, warm this um, band of clouds here. That's what happens often at the, towards the horizon, the, uh, the clouds get uh, lighter and, uh, and, it, and in this instance with the uh, sun uh, there, it's also getting uh, warmer. Um, there was a serendipitous thing, sometimes I, uh, invent the clouds, but this time uh, this wonderful thing happened. This uh, kind of dark band of uh, clouds came across here, and then there was another layer up here, this more lavenderish color of clouds. So in this uh, painting, I was actually trying to uh, express what I saw in, in using the, uh, the, uh, the wonderful uh, uh, atmospheric uh, meteorological <laughs> effects of, uh, of clouds and the, the softness of them. And there was another uh, kind of uh, group of clouds over here too. Okay, so um, I think that's about uh, all I wanted to show you. And I'm just doing the final touches on this uh, painting of um, Question Mark Island. And um, uh, if you back up a little bit. I also wanted to uh, bring your attention to the fact that I have a, another painting of this uh, same uh, theme here, and I'm going to show that to you in a minute. This, this one was done uh, on June uh, 19th and in the following days where I finished it up in my studio. But the other one from above was done on, uh, <coughs> in February, on February 14th. So if you would uh, come over here to this uh, painting uh, that I have here, this is... Um, just another version of the uh, of the river of the same island of um, Question Mark Island, but it was done several years ago, and it's unusual because it's a uh, polyptic, a, meaning a multi-panel piece. And plein air painters, uh, this is rather uncommon for a, a plein air painting. Uh, the upper portions were added later, and uh, the, but the three bottom ones were established, uh, blocked in on that initial painting session uh, several years ago. And now if you would uh, come up, well, after you've done a close-up, the heron that you're looking at there now was, uh, was actually added later in my studio several years after the initial painting was done. I just felt it needed something, so I invented this heron. But of course, I've seen them on many occasions uh, on the river. And um, once you're going to uh, look up here on the wall here now, this is a painting of uh, Mishapin, also with herons, and uh, that was a studio painting. It's a large 34 by 54 studio painting. And uh, to the left of it, if you turn to your left after you're done there, that's a view also from Question Mark Island, but looking downstream towards Wailusing of a full moon rise on the river. And this one is also uh, a plein air painting of the uh, of Question Mark Island. Uh, it was done in uh, 2009 and also done for my kayak where I paddled out and found a spot and, uh, and did it right on location. Now if you follow me over here, I wanted to show you these uh, two uh, paintings. One is a uh, oil painting. This one that you're looking at here now is an oil painting and I have another video that it was uh, 
done. So look at my YouTube site to see this uh, uh, sequel to this uh, one that you're looking at here now. And below it is a pastel, uh, another uh, medium that I have used many times over the years, one of my favorite mediums. But it's uh, also a question mark on it, and it was also a plein air pastel. So um, I think that's basically what I wanted to show with you. And uh, um, one more here of this painting of uh, the Susquehanna River. But uh, I think this is about, about about all I wanted to share with you of this uh, plein air session. And uh, of course, uh, many of these paintings are on the uh, North Star Art Gallery website, uh, northstarartgallery.com. And I also wanted to bring your attention that I have many excellent full length videos. So if you want to go into more depth and more detail, uh, look at my website, briankeeler.com, and uh, you can see these uh, videos uh, available there. And also on the Artist Network, where I did several, uh, I think three paintings for them from start to finish. So they're really uh, great ways to uh, further your uh, uh, understanding and appreciation of landscape painting. And perhaps my most popular video is called The Luminous Landscape. It's also of the Susquehanna River. And uh, that was uh, done in front of a live audience here at the uh, Community School of Music of Art in Ithaca. So um, once again, thanks so much for your attention and uh, I hope to see you around soon.